Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. All right, Sagittarius, let's get on with this. What do we have for you today, this week? What do we have for Sagittarius this week? If you want to watch more weekly and monthly readings, uh, go ahead and check out my channel. I have tons of readings in there that you might enjoy yeah, or find insightful. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. Wow. Eight of Wands, Justice, <laughs> Double Justice, huh? Um, six of Coins, Six of Pentacles, Strength, the Hierophant, the Star. Queen of Swords. I feel you could be dealing with a Libra here. Pretty strong Libra characteristics yeah? in, in this uh, spread. We have five of um, Pentacles and four of uh, Wands. Wow. Nine of Swords, the Tower, and the Six of Wands. Wow, okay. Death, Ace of Wands, and Four of, oh, Three of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have um, Nine of Cups, another Libra or Tur Taurus energy. Mm hmm. Sagittarius wrapping up things it feels like um, it feels like there's something that you truly want right now or something that you want to achieve um, there's there's something that you want to have uh, in order for you to be happy or happier right um, for some of you this is um, very much getting into a space of really knowing what you want right now yeah and i feel it's more about bringing balance in your life um making that decision to, let's say to talk to someone that you haven't talked to for a while because you feel that's the right thing to do right now yeah or perhaps um making an effort to reach out to someone that you haven't um, talked to for a while because you feel that that's the right thing to do so it's more like you getting into this balancing act, yeah? Getting into this balancing act with the primary purpose that you really want to be happy. You want to achieve some form of um, fulfillment here. Now, the connection I see, uh, for the connection, it's it feels like this is the healing phase of the connection, right? Um, you might have stayed away from one another, um, been distant from one another for a while to gain perspective, to gain some form of uh, courage, yeah, to face what's needed to be faced here. It could be about a relationship, it could be about the learnings, yeah, that you need to learn upon knowing this person or having this person in your life. So I feel it's more about um, the learning process and the healing of um, the relationship. Yeah. There's still this feeling of hope and uh, faith from you and from the other person as well, the person that you're dealing with. There is this sense of hope that all is well. Yeah, all is well whatever this is. So if you're not even talking to this person, you may even think that, maybe okay, possibly all is well. 
uh, no news is good news, something like that. But for those of you who may be like communicating yeah, with one another, there's some back and forth kind of energy there. It feels like this is strengthening the bond that you already have. Or you're wanting to strengthen the bond that you already have with one another. Now, the person that you're dealing with, I feel like they have made a decision. Yeah, um, they have made a decision to continue their own journey in their life. Yeah, it's more about if they want to succeed in whatever they want to do. This is someone who is pursuing that. They also made a decision to turn their back. Um, on things that are no longer serving them right yeah it, it's more about this person if like I said there's been some form of healing healing process here I feel that this person right now is also sort of healed yeah they have accepted I don't think they have accepted defeat but it's more like they have accepted the fact that it is what it is right now yeah and I feel that this person wants to have a rather stable and happy life. Who wouldn't or who doesn't, right? So they are wanting to achieve that. They are focusing on that. Yeah, They would continue their putting in their effort um, into connections, into things that could bring them that sort of stability yeah, in terms of relationship. Um, towards this connection, I see that they still feel neglected though. They still feel as though you may have left them um, abruptly. Yeah, things just, um, it feels like this person all of a sudden lost all the support that they need. Yeah, and that said, you know, they had to suffer this ending process. Yeah. They had to suffer this ending process but i do see this person um standing back up yeah starting to uh accept or getting into that sense of acceptance that yeah maybe it is what it is and um this time i do see them getting ready yeah breaking through the barriers and getting ready to have a new start in their life this could be someone wanting to have a change yeah in, in wherever they're at right now change of job change of um, or for some this is someone who wants to have a new love life yeah as a new somebody that they can talk to and for some of you this definitely talks about somebody who is who may already have someone yeah that they are kind of starting to deal with yeah but nothing is concrete it feels like this person is still open for you know come is still open to whatever come what would come their way and that could even be including you because i do see here that it's been it's been like um dark nights for you sagittarius it feels like i don't know if this has been hap happening for quite a while um You've been struck with this sense of what have I done? What did I do? You know, you, there is this sense of you asking that, and there is this sense of of um, worrying if there is still that chance, you know, for a future to be brighter. But again, in this card, it talks about healing. It talks about you know faith of having renewal in life. So wherever you're at right now, whatever painful experience um disturbing thoughts that you may have right now in particular about an ending about some tower moment that has happened in your life um i think the best person to handle that that i'm reading is you it's because you know the optimistic side of you needs to be brought up and i feel that you're also trying to do that so this these, these cards here seem to have been like a confirmation reading because at the end of it you're bringing in this energy of the six of wands which is you know a lot of optimism success um forward looking kind of energy yeah that even if today it's not perfect 
yeah it could even be dark um, difficult day to to undergo tomorrow can be the day that you have been waiting for so there is that that sense coming from you there is that sense coming from you for some of you this is you like there is this um aha moment of realizing what have i done with this person how come i have let them go or how come i've let the tower fall so there is this sense of you wanting to um talk to reach out and make things right with them yeah and i feel time has passed here yeah before you get into this phase perhaps there's been some distance already and that you know being away from each other and being away from the situation could definitely give you that perspective and i feel that now you seem to be knowing what you want yeah and that is um that could actually involve at least you know getting both of you into that sense of peace of calm so this could even bring about you know communication uh reconciliation yeah that sort of thing but i do see here if someone is supposed if someone is going to reach out i do sense it's possibly you yeah, in this reading but this is general reading take it however that resonates yeah and pick which side you're on i'm gonna leave it at that and um, let me know if this resonates in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe